Here we go. Here we go. Okay, hello everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Audrey. I'm Amanda's maid of honor. Amanda and I have been friends for 10 years, which is just about half of our lives. We became closest our very first year of the crew team because we won first place in the state of Florida. <laughs> when Amanda met Josh, she wasn't around as much and she wouldn't do anything without Josh. I never met Josh. So when I met him, I knew that he had to be special. He had to be an important guy in her life. He turned out to be one of the most stand-up, kind gentlemen I could have ever wanted for my best friend. And now he's one of my best friends too. I couldn't imagine a more picture-perfect couple. We've always joked that the two of you will make the most beautiful blonde-haired, blue-eyed babies. <laughs> Won't they? <laughs> I'm so happy for the two of you to start your lifelong adventure together with your best friend. Congratulations. That was, that's going to be kind of tough to follow. She was nervous, and I think she did a pretty good job. <laughs> good job. Uh, so some of you know me. For those of you who don't know me, my name is EJ. I'm Josh's best man. Uh, anything you may have heard about me, all the good stuff is true. Everything else is flat-out lies. Uh, so first, on behalf of the bride and groom, uh, I'd like to thank everyone who uh, was involved in making today special. Uh, Audrey, who did an absolutely amazing job as Amanda's maid of honor. Everybody give her a round of applause. <laughs> All the friends and family members who are here today, um, who traveled from various differences just to make this day special. Uh, seeing so many people here really shows you how much Josh and Amanda are truly loved. Plus free food and alcohol. <laughs> who can turn that down? <laughs> Uh, and a special thanks to everybody who was involved in making today happen. Uh, the parents, the friends, the family, the planners. You guys truly did an amazing job, and it was an absolutely beautiful day. Um, as beautiful as today has been, I'm sure we can all agree that it is eclipsed by Amanda, who looks absolutely stunning. I'd like to say Josh looks good too, but I was told I shouldn't lie in the speech, so. <laughs> uh, I haven't known Josh for an extremely long time, probably about four or five years now. Uh, so when he asked me to be his best man, I was completely surprised. Um, but it's a true honor that out of everybody he could have picked, he chose me. Uh, and I was also glad that after all this time, he finally admitted that I'm the better man. <laughs> I remember when I first met Josh, I actually knew Kevin first, his dad. Um, and when he would talk about Josh, you could hear the pride in his voice. And he always would talk about how great of a guy Josh is. Uh, and then the first day I met him, he took my money in a football bet. So <laughs> I don't know where that great guy thing came from. <laughs> I know one of the jobs of the best man is to talk up the groom uh, and show his new in-laws and his bride that she made the right choice. But like I said, I'm not supposed to lie in my speech, so. <laughs> but no, I don't think I have to tell anybody here that knows Josh what a great guy he is. Over these last few years, we've had a lot of good times together. Some great times, some not so great times. And not only has he been an amazing friend, but he's become like a brother to me. I'm honored that I got to be here today and be involved in your special day. I couldn't be happy for you, man. One of the main things people often ask when two people get engaged are, how do you know they're the right person? And I don't think that was necessary with Josh and Amanda, because anybody who spent any time with these two can see the way they look at each other and the way they are with each other. That is the purest example of true love that you can find. Amen. <laughs> so before I get to the toast, I do have a couple of tips for you, Josh, for a long and happy marriage. Firstly, set the ground rules, establish who's boss, and then do everything Amanda says. <laughs> Always remember to tell your wife those three little important words. You're right, dear. A happy marriage really just comes down to give and take. The husband gives, the wife takes. And last but certainly not least, 
Whenever you're wrong, be a man and admit it. Whenever you're right, say nothing. <laughs> a wise man who uh, <laughs> a wise man who gives in when he's wrong is uh, I'm messing up. <laughs> Sorry. A wise man who gives in when he is wrong is or a man who gives in when he's wrong is a wise man. A man who gives in when he's right is a married man. <laughs> so with that said, if everybody would please raise your glasses. To Josh and Amanda, may your love be modern enough to keep up with the times, but old fashioned enough to last forever. Okay, I could stand here all day and tell you how perfect my baby girl is you got it. You got this baby. <laughs> for my entire allotted time, but you all know she's my baby girl, my only daughter, and an absolute dream. She has grown into an amazing young lady. She has far exceeded all everything I wanted her to become. When I brought her home from the hospital, it was much different than when I brought my sons home. I was overprotective and completely unfair to her. She didn't get to do anything. <laughs> I immediately had visions of getting a gun and running off boys. <laughs> okay, I can do this. You got it, you got it. I got this. It was my military mindset that made me rehearse every contingency in my head. I would interrogate whoever she brought home, embarrass her, then get a gun and run them off. <laughs> Amanda will attest, since she was about three, I said, don't bring home a thug. She didn't date that I know of. She didn't bring any boy home. Then one day she brought Josh home. All my scenarios were thrown out. He couldn't be more opposite a thug. <laughs> there was no need to interrogate him or run him off. He is perfect. Hold on, I'm not done. <clears throat> I'm almost done. Joshua, you are perfect. You are a mother's dream come true. I can exhale now. She's safe with you. You have the helm, Josh. I relinquish my neurotic, overprotective, gun-wielding, scary mommy instincts over her. I love you, Josh, with all my heart. Take care of her. Love her. Protect her just as you always have. I mean it from the bottom of my heart, Joshua. You are perfect. You are the happily ever after. I wanted for my baby girl. It's always great to be a closer, but I'd like to start out with echoing some of the sentiments that EJ said. I am truly excited and honored for everybody who showed up today, those that have helped, those that come from afar and near, it means so much to this family, and we're all family, and I really am grateful for that. Now, obviously, I've known Josh for a long time, <laughs> but Amanda and Josh met, I remember, at Cocoa Beach Pier, and they were friends, and they were with a group of friends, and I was able to stand back as a father with my lovely wife, Kathy, and watch that relationship mature and grow. And it just kept going, and they've been through a lot together and had so many good times. And then they got through high school and went off to college. And that's a big, big situation to go off on your own for your first time. And how blessed they were. When we came down to visit them, it was just awesome. They had uh, started new careers. They prospered well. They went through it all. And now it all came to fruition as they got out of college, started new careers, and are now husband and wife. 
it's such an honor to be in front of you today to say this is my son Joshua Eschler and my new daughter-in-law Amanda Eschler. We're going to just end with one closing because I always have to have one thing is may God shine over this marriage and bless it and the light shines forever for them. Yeah. May everybody raise their glasses and toast them for one final toast as we proceed on to one great evening. <laughs>